Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and we are back with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and this is part 8. So, we just got done getting, we literally just got done getting told that Buckbeak's going to be executed. Uh, we just finished uh, preventing a uh, sabotage by Slytherin against Gryffindor in the Quidditch match. And we did a potions class and got great ingredients for it beforehand. So... We are going to turn in and see what the next day has in store for us. <clears throat> the house point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, Ron, and Hermione paced the Gryffindor common room, worried about Hagrid. They're going to execute Buckbeak tonight. We've got to go and see Hagrid. He can't just sit there on his own waiting for the executioner. You're right. Let's go. All right. So. Turn wow. Item. House points. 350 house Let's points, go right. to Hagrid's now. All right, woman. Oh, I gotta go past the trolls again. Try not to be seen. Uh, all right. I got a dumb bomb. Uh, okay, let's get some more, I guess. Gosh darn you wrong. Get out! Out! Step away! Step away from the wall! Hagrid's going to Hagrid's. Okay, sorry guys. I gotta, I gotta do something real quick. Sorry, there's a major glare coming off of the floor here. See, in the last game, though, it sucked trying to get through this area at night because there were prefect. There were like three prefexes in here. You had to get past them. I 
And the only way to get past them is you have to throw a stink pellet at them. Just as you approach them, just before they cast the, the, the body binding, the leg binding curse on you. It really, it really sucked sneaking out at night, but the rest of the game was just phenomenal. Can we go now? It was very challenging. Luckily, I got away with. They did away with the whole prefect sneaking around stuff after this. As Harry, Ron, and Hermione arrived at Hagrid's hut. The Executioner came to seal Buckbeak's fate. He's here. Don't let him see you. Oh, Buckbeak! How could they? Scabbers! It's okay, Scabbers! Come back! Ah, gotcha! <laughs> Ow! Ron was dragged into the Whomping Willow. Harry and Hermione chased after him. All right. All right. So we're gonna want this. Take my shoes on, because we got red caps ahead of us. Caps with shears, my Did I take your little shield away? No, Hermione. Harry! Need your skill. Because her mind can't jump, it seems.
Gnarly! Gnarly! Ah! Okay, as long as Harry's got an antidote, we're good. I need some antidote to this poison. And if he didn't have it, then we'd have to wait for him to... We'd have to wait for him to die and then come back. Oh yeah, okay, one way home. Oh. Never mind again. The Riparos public. I forgot about this bit. Let's get back there. After this, it should be good. We should be... I don't know, the cutscene right after this. Potion, shall we? Goodness. Come on, Hermione, get over here. Hermione, you dumb woman. Get up there. Help me. Help me. Retarded sometimes, Hermione. Only in this game, though. See, the first two games, you were comp you don't have your friends following you around all the time. Oh yeah, you might want to hit the button. Ha! <laughs> might need to hit the button for it to do something. Why is he always yeeting himself off the edges, you know? The tunnel from the Whomping Willow led into the Shrieking Shack. Harry discovered that the Black Dog was in fact Sirius Black, and that Black had not been trying to murder him, but had in fact been hunting down Peter Pettigrew. 
the man that had truly betrayed Harry's parents to Lord Voldemort. No! He can go to Azkaban. As they marched Pettigrew to Hogwarts, the full moon rose, and Professor Lupin transformed into a werewolf. This little fun final challenge of the game. Come on, we shall fight these dead men to us once I drag your butt. Your butt over here. Fight him off. Oh, that didn't very well, did it? doing pretty good on right now. Keeping him back pretty well. Seems pretty easy. Now captured, Sirius Black awaited his fate on the seventh floor of the West Tower. Harry and Hermione awoke in the hospital wing, eager to explain to Dumbledore what had happened. Professor, Black's telling the truth. He's innocent, Professor. I believe everything you say, but there is nothing I can do. What we need is more time. Hermione understood immediately. Dumbledore was giving them permission to use the time turner she'd been using all year to attend several lessons at once. We're going to use the time turner to go back three hours, rescue Buckbeak, and then save Sirius. Having rescued Buckbeak, Harry and Hermione hid amongst the bushes beside the lake. As the moment drew closer to Black's capture by the Dementors, Harry's mind wrestled with the vision of the shadowy figure and the ghostly creature that he had seen by the lakeside. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it was my dad. Harry, you mustn't be seen. It was time for the rescuer to appear, but no one was coming to help this time. And then it hit him. 
he had not seen his father, he had seen himself. I've got to save them! I'm gonna charge up the Patronus now. Come on, I'm saving you serious! At least the Mentos can get out of my way. There we go. Harry, did you just did you just try full pen to win on the mentor? You know about it in that man. What are you doing that for, Harry? Don't be retarded. They'll soon be coming to take him to the tower. We've got to hide. Do you reckon Sirius is up there yet? Who's that coming out of the castle? McNair, the executioner. He's gone to fetch the Dementors. One of us has got to get Buckbeak to that tower. Fun fact, McNair is Hi, actually a Dementor. I mean... Wow, that's retarded. <laughs> McNair is actually a Death Eater. Hurry up! The Dementors are coming! Alright, I'm getting up there, Hermione. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm gonna get our... our friend here. I think technically it would be our uncle. Well, not technically, but in, in some perspective, he would be sort of an, he would be a, like an uncle figure, you know? How can I ever thank? Get on! There's not much time! The Dementors are coming! Go! We'll see each other again. You truly are your father's son, Harry. Nobody at Hogwarts knew the truth behind what had happened the night that Sirius, Buckbeak, and Pettigrew had vanished, except Harry, Hermione, Professor Dumbledore, and Ron. I trust that you will make the best of the last day of term to say your goodbyes for another year, and to do anything that remains to be done.
I'll remind you that we will soon hold the House Cup ceremony. But if you would like to run along now, come back to me when you're ready to see who's won. As I was saying, we were pretty close because it's only between Slither and Gryffindor, so... And now, we reach the end of another eventful school year together. So, for their loyalty, courage, and their significant contributions to this school, it gives me great pleasure to award the House Cup to Gryffindor. Yay! Alright, I was forgetting, I kind of forgotten to turn my mic on a couple times there. But, uh... Yeah! But yeah, that's really cool. Um... This game was really good, I have to say. Um... I love the puzzles, I love the challenges. It's, it's from really what made Harry Potter really good start off really well and then it got and then graphics started evolving a little bit more uh, so then starting on the fourth one things start looking a little bit more real start looking a lot more realistic less more, less cartoony less for kids more for teens okay. uh, yeah this has been a great, great game. Uh, let's turn this down a little more. Alright, it's been a great game. Uh, but hey, you guys, you like this? I'm going to be doing the Harry Potter God of Fire next. You like this video? Hit like and subscribe. And I will continue on with the fourth one in the next video. Peace.